A Columbia man will spend 10 more years in prison after pleading guilty to child abuse charges. Joseph Elledge admitted to hurting his child today in court. ABC 17 News anchor Lucas Geiser joins us live in studio tonight. And Lucas, Elledge's new sentence will actually tack on to his current murder conviction. Deborah Elledge is already spending 28 years in prison for the murder of his wife, Meng Shi Ji. And we learned today that Elledge will spend another 10 years on top of that and will avoid more charges by taking this plea. Joseph Elledge is in Fulton prison, but he came back to Boone County today to put an end to a child abuse case against him. He pleaded guilty today to child abuse, endangering a child and domestic assault. Prosecutors first charged him with this in 2019 as police investigated the disappearance of his wife, Meng Shi Ji. Police say they found bruises on he and G's child's legs, which they claim came from Elledge. Elledge's attorneys say he did pinch their child to try and make her stop crying. He'll now serve 10 more years in prison for that plea. He'll serve them consecutively to the 28 years in prison he's serving for the murder of Xi. But prosecutor Dan Knight says the plea means he won't face future charges. The state is agreeing pursuant to this plea agreement to not charge the defendant with abandonment of a corpse and then other felonies related to tampering with physical evidence. Elledge hid G's body in 2019 at Rockbridge State Park. Defense attorney John O'Connor noted that this means prosecutors won't bring other charges if Elledge succeeds on his murder appeal. I just checked on that appeal, and Elledge's lawyer has not filed an official appeal yet on that murder case. Hey, Lucas, thank you. An attorney for G's family says the court gave Elledge a fair sentence. She says the family is relieved to have the child abuse case resolved.